What's going on guys? It's the Doctor Show here, back with another World War II Zombies video. In this video today, I'm going to try and address a very simple question that I know I had when I started playing the Final Reich, and I'm sure you will have too. What the... what in the world is going on with Jug? Now, at first glance, the Geistschild armor in the Final Reich might seem like just another catchy alternate name to Juggernaut, much like other Sledgehammer fan favorites like Exohealth. However, thinking the Geistschild armor is just a Jug perk would be a fatal, fatal mistake. Now, let me first just explain what in the world is going on here. So basically, the perks in COD World War II Zombies are called Blitzes, and in Blitzes, you see all the usual suspects. Quick Revive, Double Tap, Speed Reloading, Slappy Taffy, etc. All the usual suspects, except for our precious Jug. Instead, Jug is purchased at a slightly different machine, simply titled Geistschild Armor. I don't have to pronounce that again. Not only that, but it only costs a mere 500 jolts! Further emphasizing that this is not a perk, the armor is not displayed in the perk slots, but rather fills up three shield symbols across the player's character icon in the bottom left hand corner. Now, if these differences seem somewhat minor to you, wait, there's more. Whilst the armor does in fact increase the amount of hits you can take before downing, this is not in the same way as Jug. Without any armor, if you sustain about three hits, you'll down. With armor, however, if you sustain three hits, you won't down, but lose one of the three shields. Now, if your health bar, the yellow ring around your character icon, regenerates, you can go on your merry zombie slaughtering away with two out of three shields. Next time you sustain three hits, you will of course lose another shield. And then, if it happens again, you will have no shields. And then, if it happens again, you'll die, or just down. Needless to say, if you sustain two hits and then your health regenerates, you will not lose a shield, nor will that shield sustain any permanent damage. However, if you sustain three hits and then get hit again without your health regenerating, you will lose another shield. So basically, if you have full health and three shields, it only takes six hits to down you. So even though your health technically increased from three hits to down to six hits to down, you can see the armor is a little more complex than simply being an increase of strength due to a jug perk. Now, if you lose all your shields, or even if you lose just one or two, you can always buy more. But there's a catch. That sweet deal of 500 jolts is suddenly not so sweet. The next time you buy it, armor will cost 750 jolts, then 1000 jolts, then 1500 jolts, then 2000 jolts, then a million jolts, and the price will keep going up and up every time you buy it. Alright, I hope you understand how the armor works now and how it differs seemingly subtly but actually quite significantly from a jug perk. Now, for better or for worse? Let me start by saying I always appreciate when game developers have the courage to experiment and try new things and push the boundaries. Webster's Dictionary defines courage as well. You get the point, change is a good thing even when the change is not a good thing. Onto the substance. Let's start with some positives, because I'm really a positive guy at heart. So one thing I love is not having Jug in the perk slots. This is a minor point, but Jug has always been an essential perk. When something becomes so essential as it is a given, you will always purchase it every single time, and the map pretty well assumes you have the perk too, you could almost say Treyarch Zombies has three perk slots and one Jug slot, or Infinite Warfare has four perk slots and a Jug slot. Now that's obviously an opinion and perhaps some people do enjoy going jugless, but regardless, I still think it is refreshing to factorize jug out of the perk slots and have it chill on its own somewhere. Another positive is the armor is cheap, at least the first couple of times you buy it. That's always nice, everyone loves savings. Okay, now honestly, I don't want to roast the armor because it's hard to judge a game when it first comes out. You're not used to it, you may be tired from staying up for a midnight release, and the game could not be exactly as the developers intended and thus patches could fix any initial issues you have. That being said, let's look at some negatives. Probably my least favorite thing about the armor is just how easy it is to lose it. Running a zombie around while easter egg hunting, boom boom boom, boss a shield, happens again and now you find yourself on one shield or even worse, when a zombie boss, 
of which there are many varieties and whose ridiculous abundance in rounds 15 plus is absolutely insane but beyond the scope of this video, swipes you once when you run around them, quite often, that's a shield gone. I think officially the swipe is two hits worth, but there is always a zombie around to give you that extra little needed hit, or else the zombie boss might have another crack, or if not them, then maybe one of the other million bosses in the map at the same time. Now, this all wouldn't be that bad if it wasn't for the insane 1920 style German hyperinflation on the armor. Now perhaps theoretically, you can look at zombies as simply as, if a player survives more rounds, they must therefore have more money. Hey. Let's charge them more for armor then. Cool, no worries, gnarly. However, I think every single Zombies player ever could tell you that is not the case like 95% of the time. This is even more so true in multiplayer, where it's possible to get to high rounds when your friend is a Zombies God and you are a Zombies dog. You're a Zombies dog. I think I can understand how tough living in relative poverty can be for all the times I'm on about round 23 with 500 jolts to my name, no guns to earn jolts, no perks, and being in a map where basic armor cost has hyperinflated to 10,000 jolts. At least Treyarch used to offer healthcare at the flat rate of 2,500 points. Zombies. Politics. The perfect place to wrap up this video, and my thoughts on the armor. In conclusion, my first impressions are not great. The armor is lost easily and costs progressively more. Thanks for watching everyone, be sure to leave a subscribe and like to the channel. Follow us on Twitter, it's pretty lit out there, uh, and I'll see you all in the next one. Stay, uh, stay peaceful.